Good morning students welcome to physics online class Last class we have learned about equation of motion so three equation you have learned uh, what is the first equation v equal to u plus at second equation s equal to ut plus half at square third equation v square equal to u square plus 2as okay this you, we have learned and, and we have derived also equation of motion i am thinking almost all the students know that equation three equation no okay today we can learn the motion of freely falling bodies see you can observe this picture dropping a feather and a ball which which will reach the ground first when we drop the feather and a ball the ball reaches first and feather reaches later in the absence of air all would have reached the ground at the same time in air medium air offers some resistance to the motion of freely falling objects but it is negligibly small when compared to the gravitational pull acting on the ball and further hence they reach the ground at the same time let us consider a body of mass m and moving along a circular path of radius r with a velocity v the centripetal acceleration is given by a equal to v square divided by r this is the formula a means acceleration v velocity or radius okay moving along a circular path that radius then the magnitude of the centripetal force centripetal force f okay you know force formula mass into acceleration So the mass we know the letter m into acceleration the value is here v square divided by r. So the centripetal force formula m v square divided by r. F means centripetal force m uh, mass v velocity and r radius. So this is the formula for centripetal force. F equal to m v square by r. Already you have learned three equation of motion v equal to u plus a t. S equal to u t plus half a t square. V square equal to u square plus two a s. Here three equation already have learned. So here the freely falling body u equal to zero. That means initial velocity equal to zero. Then instead of a a means acceleration equal to acceleration due to gravity. Instead of a you have to write g. Instead of u you have to write o zero. Okay. So first we can take first equation. So instead of u, just to put zero. Instead of a, just to put g. So v equal to zero plus g t. How do you get v equal to g t? Okay. The equation change. The equation one, two, three. Now fourth equation you got. Okay. Uh, the next second equation s yes equal to. What is that? U zero. So that uh, only zero. Zero into t plus half. Instead of a g t square, so s equal to this term will become zero half g t square. This equation number five. The next equation v square uh, equal to u square zero square plus two instead of a g s. So you'll get v square equal to two g s. This equation number six. So like that freely falling body that changes the equation. No doubt. uniform circular motion when an object is moving with a constant speed along a circular path the velocity changes due to the change in direction hence it is the accelerated motion you know about acceleration acceleration means what change in velocity divided by time that all of you know no so here the accelerated motion means your velocity changes when the object moving with a constant speed with a circular path so only we are saying that is uniform okay constant speed along a circular path the velocity changes due to the change in direction here direction there no so change in direction the velocity changes so it is called accelerated motion so if example uh, revolution of earth around the sun is the example for accelerated motion So all of you know the circumference of a circle formula. All of you know what is the 
formula for circle circumference of a circle 2 pi r okay the circumference of a circle formula is 2 pi r from this uh, we can find the speed so what is the formula for speed distance divided by time already you have learned you know the formula for speed is distance divided by time here how much what is the distance here circle no circle circle uh, circular motion so circle so we can take instead of distance circumference of a circle so the speed uh, denote the letter v speed or velocity v equal to circumference formula 2 pi r time divided by t okay so like that we can find the speed of a circular motion the formula is 2 pi r divided by t next is centripetal acceleration a body is said to be accelerated accelerator means the change in velocity if the velocity of the body changes either in magnitude or in direction okay the velocity of the body changes either in magnitude or in direction so the motion of a stone in a circular path with the constant speed and continuous change of direction it is an accelerated motion see here an accelerated motion the motion of a stone is a circular path this in circular path with a constant speed and continuous change in direction in this in this accelerated motion here the acceleration acting along the string in directed inward look at this picture directed inward the acceleration acting along the string directed inward so which makes the stone to move in a circular path this acceleration is known as centripetal acceleration okay can you understand this acceleration is known as centripetal acceleration so here you should remember acceleration acting along the string directed inward so centripetal means direct directed inward the acceleration acting along the string directed inward arrow mark also shown here the directed inward in a circular path okay this acceleration is called what is that centri centripetal acceleration centrifugal force look at this picture a boy had a piece of rope and tie a small stone at one end hold the other end of the rope and rotate it such that the stone follows a circular path here a pushing force that acts away from the center is experienced so this is called centrifugal force here away okay they are towards we learn centripetal towards we learn centrifugal away from the center is experienced so it is called centrifugal force okay force acting at the body away from the center of a circular path is called centrifugal force so what is centrifugal force force acting on a body away from the center of a circular path is called centrifugal force here see the centrifugal force acts in a direction which is opposite to the direction of centrifugal petal force so centrifugal force just opposite to the centripetal force okay so this much only this lesson then we can mark the questions take your book students exercise problem room letter 8 question number 1 i am reading the problem a ball is gently dropped from a height of 20 meter so here distance or displacement is given as 20 meter if the velocity increases uniformly at the rate of 10 meter second power minus 2 so which one you need meter second power minus 2 acceleration so acceleration is given as 10 okay what velocity will be strike the ground velocity you have to find after what time it is strike the ground time as well as velocity you have to find okay first we can write what is given in the question first solution given first here uh, initial velocity initial velocity denote the letter u that always zero okay first you have to write initial but here not given just you have to write initial velocity denote the letter u equal to 0 
Next distance or displacement we can write. We can write a distance. Okay, the unit of distance as well as displacement meter. So we can write here distance. Distance or displacement is equal to 20 meter. Next acceleration. A equal to 10 meter second power minus 2. What you have to find? You have to find final velocity. Final velocity. You have to find V. Okay. Then uh, time. T you have to find. You have to find final velocity and time. Then first to find final velocity. For the third equation of motion formula, you all know V square equal to U square plus 2AS. Just you have to substitute the value V square equal to, what is the value of U? 0. 0 square means 0. Okay, plus 2 into, what is the value of A? 10. What is the value of S? 20. So, V square equal to 0. 0 means 0. Then 2 into 10. 20. 20 into 20, 400. So, V equal to root of 400. So, V equal to 20. Okay. 20, what is the unit of velocity? Meter second power minus 1. So, velocity we have to find out. Final velocity you have to find out. Next, what you have to find? Time you have to find. So, to calculate time. For the first equation of motion, V equal to U plus AT. So, V value already we have find 20. 20 equal to U value 0 plus 10 T. So, 20 equal to 10 T. So, T equal to 20 divided by 10 equal to 2. So, the time equal to time equal to 2 second. So, we can find out velocity as well as time. Okay, once again, first you have to write, read the question well. And you have to write what is given in the question. Initial velocity u equal to 0. Uh, here, this initial velocity not given, you have to take u equal to 0. Distance is equal to 20 meter, then acceleration. You have to find final velocity and time. So, uh, first third equation you should use. Equation of motion, third equation, substitute the value, you will get to B. Then, first equation of motion, you will get the value time value. Yes. I am reading the question. An athlete completes one round of a circular track of diameter. First, circular track. You have to draw a circular track. Diameter, 200 meter. Okay. An athlete complete one round of a circular track of diameter 200 meter in how many seconds? 40 seconds. What you have to find? What will be the distance covered and the displacement at the end of 2 meter and 20 seconds? 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay. So first you have to write given solution given. Diameter equal to 200 meter. Then radius how will you find? Radius equal to diameter divided by 2. So you will get 200 divided by 2 equal to 100 meter. Next time of One rotation equal to 40 second. Here given time of one rotation equal to 40 second. Next to time after 2 minute 20 second equal to uh, you should change this minute into uh, second. So 60 plus plus 20. So you will get 120 plus 20. Don't add and multiply. First to multiply. After that will you should add. 
so 140 seconds next velocity along circular path the formula velocity along the circular path circumference divided by 10 circumference means this area circumference divided by 10 so circumference divided by 10 what is the for velocity b what is the formula for circumference of a circle 2 pi r mathematics you have learned 2 pi r divided by 10 then b equal to 2 into pi value 22 by 7 mathematics will write now here 3.14 divide means you will get 3.14 into r value already here written 100 divided by time 40 seconds 40 okay. then uh, you should cancel so here 0 and 0 cancel then here 1 here 2 then again 1 here 5 so you multiply means you will get to value 15.7 the unit of velocity is meter second power minus 1 ok velocity we have to find then what you have to find distance covered and displacement at the end of 2, mi two minute and 20 second so first distance after 140 seconds so velocity formula displacement divided by 10 that formula you know now so instead of displacement we are write distance so distance equal to velocity into 10 so what's the value of velocity 15.7 into time 140 so multiplying means you will get to 2198 meter the next what you have to find displacement displacement after 2 minute and 20 second so here also same formula distance equal to velocity into 10 so here rotation Rotation in 40 second equal to 1. 40 second, how many number of rotation? 1 rotation. So the rotation in, in 40 second equal to 1. Okay, 40 second, 1 rotation. So therefore, rotation in 140 second equal to 1. Sorry, rotation in 40 second, 1 divided by 50. Rotation in, here 1 second, we can think. Rotation in 40 second equal to 1. Rotation in 1 second equal to 1 divided by 40. The rotation... In 140 second equal to 1 by 40 into 140. So cancel. Then 14 divided by 4 you will get to 3.5. So this is the answer. Okay. So here. First you have to find rotation uh, in 40 second. How many rotation? 1 rotation. Okay. Then rotation in 1 second 1 divided by 40. So this area don't forget this. So, this two times you write and study means only this problem. Okay. So, any doubt there means you can ask soon class. Yeah. Next to third question. A racing car has a uniform acceleration of 4 meter second power minus 2. So, acceleration is given as 4. What distance it covers in 10 seconds after, after the stop? Time is given and the acceleration is given. So, initial velocity you have to write u equal to 0. Okay, first acceleration solution given. Acceleration 
a equal to 4 meter second power minus 2. Next, initial velocity. Denote the letter u equal to 0. Then time t equal to 10 second. 10 second here given, acceleration given. Okay. This much given. Then formula here, displace distance. Huh. Uh, what distance? So second equation we have to take. So s equal to ut plus half kt square. Let's just substitute the value s equal to u value 0 into t 10 plus 1 by 2 into a value 4 into 10 square. So s equal to 10 into 0, 0 plus 1 by 2 into 4. 10 square how much? 100. So cancel 1, 2 is 2, 2, 2 is 4. So s equal to you get to 200. What is the unit of distance or displacement? Meter is the unit of distance or displacement. Okay, this is very easy problem. First, what is given in the question? Acceleration given and time is given. So, initial velocity, you have to take u equal to 0. Then, the related distance, uh, the equation of motion, second equation of motion only, distance or displacement. So, s equal to ut plus half a t square. Just to substitute all the values, you will get this answer. Page number 23. Choose the correct answer. First question. The area under velocity time graph represent the answer is displacement covered by the moving object. Second one, which one of the following is most likely not a case of uniform circular motions? C option, motion of a racing car on a circular track. Then third one, which of the following graph? That is B, option B. The next, the centrifugal force is a virtual force. Now fill in the blanks. Uh, speed is a scalar quantity whereas vector velocity is a vector quantity. The second one, the slope of the distance time graph at any point gives speed. Third one, negative acceleration is called retardation or declaration. Fourth one, area under velocity time graph shows displacement. Next, uh, Rome letter 6, question number 6 and 7. I am reading the question. The answer is given in this video. See and write in the book itself. You write it. Okay. Then the sixth question number six. Is the uniform circular motion is accelerated? Give example for your answer. Question number seven. What is mean by uniform circular motion? Give two examples of uniform circular motion. This two answer. This in this video, I will give this two answers. See that answer and write near the question. Okay, students. Thank you.